This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. The final adult in the room has left, and we should all be very afraid at who it is that remains. General Jim Mattis is quitting as defense secretary in protest over Donald Trump's Twitter announcement and decision about withdrawing our military presence in Syria. A a decision which was advised against by not only General Mattis, but also by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton. However, a decision which Vladimir Putin gleefully approved of, calling it correct. In his resignation letter, General Mattis struck a starkly different chord from that of previous outgoing cabinet secretaries and heads of the Department of Defense. He is leaving, letting it be known that Donald Trump holds painfully bad ideas, dangerously bad ideas for America. I'm gonna read a decent sized section of his letter, but every single word is critically important. So, so stick with me, quote, While the U.S. remains the indispensable nation in the free world, we cannot protect our interests or serve that role effectively without maintaining strong alliances and showing respect to those allies. Like you, I have said from the beginning that the armed forces of the United States should not be the policemen of the world. Instead, we must use all tools of American power to provide for the common defense, including providing effective leadership to our alliances. NATO's 29 democracies demonstrated that strength in their commitment to fighting alongside us following the 9-11 attack on America. The Defeat ISIS coalition of 74 nations is further proof. Similarly, I believe we must be resolute and unambiguous in our approach to those countries whose strategic interests are increasingly in tension with ours. It is clear that China and Russia, for example, want to shape a world consistent with their authoritarian model, gaining veto authority over other nations' economic, diplomatic, and security decisions to promote their own interests at the expense of their neighbors, America and our allies. That is why we must use all the tools of American power to provide for the common defense. My views on treating allies with respect and also being clear-eyed about both malign actors and strategic competitors are strongly held and informed by over four decades of immersion in these issues. We must do everything possible to advance an international order that is most conducive to our security, prosperity, and values. And we are strengthened in this effort by the solidarity of our alliances. Because you have the right to have a Secretary of Defense whose views are better aligned with yours on these issues and other subjects, I believe it is right for me to step down from my position." Unquote. In short, what the ubiquitously respected United States Marine Corps General Jim Mattis is saying is, Donald Trump doesn't believe in using all the tools of American power to provide for the common defense of our nation against authoritarian powers like China and Russia. That Trump doesn't believe in the value of treating our allies with respect and being clear-eyed about strategic and economic threats to the United States like China, North Korea, and Russia. This had better send a chill throughout the halls of Congress. Our country is in chaotic turmoil under Donald Trump, and maybe more this week than at any other point during his first two years. Our government is on the verge of shutting down because of Donald Trump's adherence to the whims of his white nationalist base and hateful gargoyles like Ann Coulter. The Dow Jones is down nearly 2,000 points in only the past five days because he insists on a continuation of his disastrous trade war against friend and foe alike. And now he has lost the most competent and stabilizing force within the executive branch and maybe within all of Washington. Wake up, Republicans. Wake up.
Republicans, wake up. Donald Trump is a danger to every single American. Donald Trump is a danger to our values. Donald Trump is a danger to our very way of life. And if you choose to do nothing, if you choose short-term political expediency over the long-term well-being of our country, you will be judged. Because someday, very soon, Donald Trump will be gone, and this will all be over, and you will be held to account, called to the proverbial carpet to answer for your crimes. And a then-healthy America will not be merciful to your inevitable, pathetic excuse-making. Do something now to cleanse our nation of this infection that is Donald Trump.